Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, this video is dropping on July 29th, and um, that day is special. <laughs> yeah, it's my birthday. Uh, I am 51 years old today. Uh, I am older than dirt, but that's okay. So this is my birthday present knife to myself. Uh, this is the EMP EDC Thick Boy. <laughs> it is a silly name for a fantastic knife. Now, my experience with uh, EMP EDC uh, started at Blade Atlanta this year with the Nimble X. Um, I picked one of these up at the show. This is a great knife. I absolutely love this thing, and it got me interested in the brand, so I started poking around for other stuff that they have done. And a buddy of mine who sells, collects vines, sells knives, happened to have this uh, available. And I went, yep, let's get one of those. Uh, these are very different in design and also different makers. Uh, the, the Nimble X is QSP. That's the OEM for this knife. And the Thick Boy is Bestec. One of the nice things about a small company like EMP EDC is that they can take their designs to various OEMs, depending on who's got availability and how fast they can do the work and all sorts of little stuff like that. And so you get slightly design, slightly different design ethics and aesthetics and all sorts of stuff in various knives. Um, the Nimble X is a spectacular knife. The Thick Boy is amazing. And I know you guys know my taste. This is a small knife. I shouldn't love it the way I do. And yet, I just do. So let's take a look at what you get. Now, I want to say right off the bat, since this is a knife for me, I, I went out and found this thing and fell in love with it. You're going to have a hard time finding these. It was a small run. Um, they're not in production anymore. They're not even on the website at EMP at this point. So this is an overview of a knife that if it interests you, you might want to hunt for one, but you're not going to find one easy. That's just the truth of it. Um, I will say that these, it is, well, I'll say this. I've reached out to them, and I think I'm going to get myself some of the black micarta scales. Um, brown's not really my color, so if I can get the, the black micarta scales, I will. This thing is just, I love this knife. <laughs> it's silly, and it makes me happy. Okay, let's take a look at what you get. Uh, it is a bolster lock S35VN blade. It is running on ceramic bearings. It is micarta and full tie, of course. It's got a nice tie backspacer and a lovely tie clip. Um, it's got this cool, like sort of worn cleaver, cleaver chopper blade that makes me really happy. It's got a big choil up here for your finger. Uh, the deployment method is just this hole, which is milled and very cool. It's got lovely jimping across the top of the blade, and the action is fantastic. Now, if I hold it back here, it's a little, I can, I can do it. It's a little cramped. If I come forward to that choil, this is a very comfortable knife to use. And for draw cuts, there is, it's like nothing else. It, it's a marvelous design. It's a nice thick slice of S35VN. The overall knife isn't too heavy. Action, of course, is very good. Best Tech really knows what they're doing. And they brought this design to life really, really well. Of course, it's got the... Uh, EMP EDC logo right there on the pivot, right? Relatively clean design. It's got a lanyard space if you're into that sort of thing. I suppose it's easier to show it to you that way. You guys know I don't really lanyard, but if you wanted to, you can. Uh, the backspacer does not climb up the backside of the knife. It's just a thin strip that runs underneath, but the uh, lanyard hole goes right through the backspacer, so it's supported, which I think is very cool. Let's take a look at what you get, shall we? On the Thick Boy here, you get two and uh, just about two and a quarter inches of cutting on three inches of S35VN. The grip area, and we're going to do this in two ways, right? So from behind this swell, you get just at three and a, yeah, so just at three and a quarter inches that way. But if you add that choil, one, two, three, excuse me, one, two, three, four and a half inches, right? So here, I got to come forward onto this flat just a little bit, right? But from here all the room in the world. It's an interesting design. I would love it if they made an XL version of this. <laughs> that would be fantastic. The knife overall is not too long. You're looking at just seven and a quarter inches, a little shy, right? Closed. 
it's thick. I mean, it's the thick boy, right? So you're looking at all well, an inch, an inch and three quarters at its thickest down here. Um, however, on this side, when it's in the pocket, it really rides well, which is nice. It's not, it's, I mean, it's deep carry, but it's not, it's not disappear in the pocket deep carry, but it's deep carry enough. Uh, it is a little thick at the top of the pocket, but um, because of the way this is designed, if you have stuff down here lower in your pocket, it's not going to like rub against it and mess it up. As I said, the back spacer is milled titanium, and it's got a little bit of jimping on it. It's got, level, as I said, lovely jimping across the top of the blade. And it's far enough out that no matter kind of where you put your thumb, it lands right. It's not really a pokey knife, although there is enough tip there that if you needed to give somebody a little slice, you could. Excuse me, prod and move somebody along. Closed length, four and a quarter, four and an eighth, right? I love this thing. I really wish they'd bring this back. Now, right now they are working on the Nimble W, which is a Warncliffe blade uh, sort of along this line, um, which is going to be amazing. I'll definitely be hunting one down. Um, but bring this back, please. Let's do some size comparisons. As I said, it's not a terrifically big knife, which is weird for me, I know. Here it is against uh, a classic bug out. And as you can see, it is a little shorter than the classic bug out. And of course, you get a lot less cutting surface. Okay. This is a straight working tool. Nothing fancy, nothing even super interesting. Just a really well done cutting tool. A lot of people like just that, and I can't blame them. This is something else. This is a combination of artistic expression and interesting design and also a cutting tool. And so you got to give a little to get a little, right? Not everything could be or should be just this. And you guys know in my collection, very little is just this. I like kind of weird and wonky stuff. This falls into that category in a wonderful way. It really does. Let's compare it against something a little bigger. Well, let's do it against the Nimble X since we already had it out. As you can see, the Thick Boy is considerably shorter than the full-size Nimble X. What else do we have on the table? Oh, we're here against the uh, Petrified Fish Beluga. As you can see, it is considerably smaller than the Beluga. For giggles, here it is against the bait. Excuse me while I drop stuff. Here it is against the Baby Banter. I mean, so here's an interesting bit. These knives are completely different, right? Uh, the Thick Boy is much larger, but they lean into the same sort of grip concept, right? The handle is very short, but they've developed this lovely forward choil that allows you to get a really solid grip on the knife. I've said it many times, the Baby Banter is my favorite small knife. The Thick Boy is similar, right? The handle itself is a little short for full-size hands, like mine. It's really well balanced, by the way, look at that. Um, it is considerably more comfortable than the Baby Banter in this regard. You can just use it this way, right? Your pinky falls off the end a little bit and you can hold it no problem, but come forward onto that choil and you've got a really good grip for slices this way. I like it. Here's a full-size knife that you may be a little more familiar with. Here it is against the uh, Rat 2. So. Many of you have seen this knife in person. That helps. Uh, the uh, Thick Boy is its just not a big knife. And I know that's weird for me, but uh, my tastes have changed in the last couple of years. I find myself drawn to different sizes of knives. And this thing just happened to hit all the right, like, bells and whistles. <laughs> it really did. I love stuff like this. I do. I wish that they would still make these because, well, okay. So earlier this week, if you guys are watching my videos in order, you saw me review the Ahab. Now the Ahab is considerably more traditional cutting tool, but it's got that same kind of funky design aesthetic that really appeals to me. Just because a knife is a working tool doesn't mean it can't be interesting. I mean, I suppose, look, if your life is, you know, 
working in a field somewhere or you have an industrial job or a job where you have to cut things all the time, all day, every day, then the knife just needs to work, in which case something maybe a little bit more like the full-size Presidio 2 from Benchmade is up your alley. This is just a cutting tool. It's a really good one. But for those of us that use our knives on a more daily basis for even more mundane tasks, opening packages, cutting tape, getting into boxes, uh, cutting straps, you know, periodically, you know, they can be a little different. And this is that. It's never let me down since I got it. I've had this for about three weeks now. Whenever I've been carrying it and I've needed a knife, it has performed beautifully for whatever I need it to do. Now, because the blade is so short, you're not going to want to cut like big, long, thick stakes with it, right? But kind of everything else that you need to do in a day, it does really well, and yet it manages to do it with a bunch of style. It is, as I said, a bolster lock, and you can get to the bolster really easily, right? Thumb slides right into the spot, and the knife closes. The bolsters are titanium, and so it's just full tie underneath. But there is a insert, so it's steel on steel instead of titanium on steel, which is really nice. I hope more people do stuff like this. I hope EMP EDC continues to bring forward cool and weird designs like this because there's just not enough of it. I mean, there's a lot of uh, bolster lock micarta knives out there in the world, but stuff like this with this funky blade shape, they did something cool here. <laughs> they really did. Let's go ahead and get some basic specs out of the way beyond that. As I said, it's called the Thick Boy because it's a little thick in hand and it is a nice slice of S35. VM. Let's take a look at what you get. Back here at the thickest point, it is just about four millimeters. All right, so it starts nice and thick. Now, because it's got this flat, um, I'm not going to say it comes down to a razor blade. It's, uh, it's pretty thick down here, but for knife needs like mine, that's not a big deal. All right, if I need a really slicey knife, I've got my TRMs and I've got other knives that do that. But on a, as I said, I've had this for about three weeks. I've carried it a bunch of times. It has never let me down. Now, one of the things that's not going to show up, although I wish it would, is that there's almost a texture pattern on this tie. It's not just, I don't know how to explain it. There are like lines in it. It's very cool. The micarta is very grippy and very comfortable, almost warm to the touch, if that makes any sense. Pocket clip is, as I mentioned, right, really good. It's, uh, got more than enough spring to it. It's got good ramp, so it slides in and out of the pocket very comfortably. And I did say earlier that it's relatively deep carry, right? Nothing too wild, but at the same time, right? Just a little bit of knife sticking out of the pocket. So I guess that's where, I don't know, let's weigh it. I'm sure somebody cares. You might, I don't know. Let's see. It's kind of heavy. 4.7 ounces for two inches of cutting. <laughs> this is definitely wonky on the ounce per inch scale that a lot of ADC folks seem to like so much. But I got to tell you, it rides the pocket really well. It does. One last measurement before we let it go. At its thickest point, which is right here, we are 13 millimeters, which is just a hair over a half inch. So it's just a nice little block of knife. All of this, by the way, is milled beautifully, right? Everything's chamfered. All of this is chamfered. There's not, it's not sharp through here. Bestex absolutely killed it on this knife. They really did. Anyway, this is my birthday present to myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at the uh, EMP EDC Thick Boy. I feel lucky to have gotten my hands on one. It makes me happy. I hope looking at it has made you happy. If you have any questions about this knife or any of my knives, feel free to ask down in the comments below. And on that note, we'll see you next time.